Hey guys, it's Jen from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a super, super useful tool and it's really, really fun to play with, which is the Blend tool. Okay, so you can use a Blend tool to create amazing text effects, use it to create color palettes and gradient colors. Without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so the first thing you can do is use a Blend tool to create a color palette. So all you need to do is create two shapes with different colors. Well, I created two squares here. It can be circle or any shape that you want. And then you can select both, go to object, the overhead menu object and choose blend and make. You can also, first of all, set up the blend options. Otherwise you can go ahead and click make. Since I didn't set up the blend option, this is the default spacing option, which is a smooth color. So I'm going to change that by going to object, blend, and blend options. Yeah, as you can see, the spacing was uh, set by default, smooth color. The smooth color lets Illustrator automatically um, calculate the steps between the two shapes. So you can change it to specified steps, which you get the control. Wow, like as you can see, there are 217 steps. That's why it creates a really smooth transition between the two colors. So I'm going to set it. Let's say I want to make a palette of five colors. So I'm going to put three. So why didn't I put five? Because there were already two shapes. So if you want to have five colors, you only need to add three more steps in between, right? I guess it's easy math. So. Yeah, anyways, I will explain more about the spacing options for the blend tool in the description below. If you want to read more about it, yeah, feel free to check out the description below. So that's how you create a nice color palette using the blend tool. And then once you are 100% sure about the co color that you want, you can go ahead and expand this. Go to object, expand and click OK and you'll be able to select and create a new color group. Mm, where should I put candy? And then you can see the new swatch on your swatches panel here. And then obviously I already showed you by mistake earlier that you can also use the blend tool to create a gradient color by choosing the smooth color as a spacing. So yeah, if you want to do that, go ahead and go to blend, make, yeah, the default option is the smooth color option. So you can make a gradient like this as well. Okay, so besides making color palette or gradients, you can also use a blend tool to blend two shapes together. So how do we do that? Um, all you need to do is create two shape and then um, you can move it to different positions depending on how you want it to blend. If I want to blend it like this, um, all I need to do is select both shape and go to object blend make. Not only is going to create a gradient that smooth the color between two shapes, it's also going to uh, connect the two shapes together by blending them. And if you don't want it to be too long, I mean the distance, you can uh, move them a little bit closer together and just go back to repeat the steps. And you can always play around with the, um, the blend options. Make sure you have the preview option checked so you can uh, play around with the options. Another really, really cool thing that you can do with the blend tool, which is one of my favorite thing to do, is creating a 3D text effect. Well, not totally 3D, but maybe like uh, adding a shadow or Anyways, a cool text effect. So I'm going to show you just a quick example here. I just type in the text and uh, create a text outline. You can go ahead and create the outline by right clicking and choose create outlines. And then make a copy using command C and command V. Obviously copy and paste. And then you can put the text However you like, to be honest, you can put it like this. Um, depending on the text effect that you want to make, I'm going to show you like kind of a shadow effect. So I'm going to make this text a little bit smaller and put it in the back. So yeah, right click, arrange and send to back. All right, so I'm going to choose a color so you can see the effect a little bit better. I'm going to choose gray. Something like that. 
maybe I will make it even a little bit smaller. Now you can select both and go to Object, Blend, and Make. As you can see, it only has a couple of steps and the effect doesn't look amazing. So obviously we need to adjust the blend options and change it to specify steps. Okay, I'm going to put um, 10. The higher the number of steps, the um, let's say the more it blends to the background. So I'm going to maybe that's not enough 20. Or even a little bit more 30. So it creates a really smooth transition here. Um, if you want to move around the shadow, let's say the so-called shadow, double click on the artboard and then you can move around the, I mean the, the text in the back, the smaller one. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. And if you want to change the color, you can as well. Maybe, maybe make it a little bit lighter or even change a different color. So yeah, it's super, super cool. I really love using the blend tool to make uh, special text effects like this. And another really cool thing you can do is if you have handwritten text, well, I don't have my tablet with me right now. So let's say you want to um, create um, a 3D looking text with this hand drawing letter H. You can actually go ahead and create a blend just with any color that you want. I'm going to show you a quick example here. Create a blend, let's say with this two color. And then you can select your handwritten text. Well, I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Select both and then go to object blend, replace spine. And then you can create a really cool 3D kind of or fancy text effect like this. If you want to learn more about how to create a text effect like this, I do have an article that I talk about how to make 3D text in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to make a text effect like this, you should definitely check out my article, which I will include the link in the description below. Okay, so that's pretty much everything about the blend tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you have more questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you do find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials. And if you want to learn more about Adobe Illustrator or if you are an absolute beginner, I do have a beginner's course which can help you become a graphic designer faster. And I will talk about the tools in great details.